On the southwest corner of the DUP is located this tribute marker to Thomas L. Kane, a friend of the Saints. Few non-Latter-day Saints have had the kind of impact and influence on the church as that of Thomas L. Kane. The son of a prominent federal judge, he became interested in the plight of the Mormon church shortly after their expulsion from Nauvoo, Illinois. Thomas L. Kane introduced the Saints to the United States President James Polk. As a result, the government agreed to enlist a battalion of 500 able-bodied men, known as the Mormon Battalion, to participate in the campaign to wrest the West from Mexico. In 1857, when President Buchanan ordered an army to enter Utah, Kane took immediate steps to intercede on behalf of the Saints. He personally mediated the dispute by traveling to Utah at his own expense. Of this situation, Brigham Young prophesied, the Lord has sent you here, friend Thomas, and he will not let you die. No, you cannot die until your work is done. Your name will live with the saints in all eternity. You have done a great work, and you will do a greater work still. After returning to the East, Cain was instrumental in getting a pardon from President Buchanan for the saints in the Salt Lake region. On the 26th of December, 1883, Cain died of pneumonia at his home in Philadelphia. Even in his final moments of life, his thoughts were turned to the LDS people. A letter from his wife to President George Q. Cannon expressed some of his final comments. My mind is too heavy, but do send the sweetest message you can make up to my Mormon friends, to all my dear Mormon friends. In 1955, this marker was erected in honor of Thomas L. Cain for the generous help he gave to the Church of Jesus Christ of Latter-day Saints in times of need. For more information on Hallowed Ground Sacred Journeys, please visit virtualtours.byu.edu.